and time is running out because the battery life is draining on the flight data recorder. After 30 days, we could lose the signal from Flight 370's black boxes. And finding those are absolutely critical, as Jim explained. Now, but what happens once the boxes are found and what answers will actually be answered once they're recovered? Here are CCTV's Malini Wilkes. This is the signature of a black box ping. One pulse about every second of every minute of every hour for as long as the batteries last. That's usually about 30 days. There were two black boxes on board Malaysia Airlines Flight 370, one recording conversations and other sounds in the cockpit, the other recording data. Crash protected and shock mounted. Inside the flight data recorder, information is displayed in a series of graphs. Every flight data recorder records the data in binary values. It's a series of ones and zeros. In order for humans to understand that, we need to convert it into engineering units. And engineering units simply mean feet for altitude. Airspeed is recorded in knots. One graph would show whether someone deliberately caused the aircraft to change course. Another, like this one, would show the plane's altitude. If MH370 suddenly dropped to a lower altitude, the graph would show it. I think one of the important things that people will be looking at is who was in control of the aircraft. So when we look at the data from the flight data recorder, you can see if the inputs were coming from the autopilot or the left seat or the right seat. In other words, the pilot or the co-pilot. The flight data recorder would also reveal if there were a mechanical problem on board. In an engine or mechanical fair, there'd be all kinds of indications. They'd be able to determine which engine turned off first, uh, if it was because of fuel starvation, they would know that versus if it would have been intentionally cut off. There are several ways to try to find the black boxes. The one that investigators have placed most hope in is this, a so-called underwater towed pinger locator. It's dragged underneath a ship listening for pings. In the last 18 years, it has been used four times in major commercial air crashes. It found the black box after the Bergen Air plane crashed in the Caribbean in 1996 the Egypt air crash in the Atlantic in 1999, and the 2007 crash of an Atom Air jet off Indonesia. But in 2009, it passed right over the black box from Air France Flight 447. Its pinger had apparently broken off from the box. But there have been other factors complicating the search. Weather is a big factor. If the boat is doing this on the ocean waves, now you're attached to an umbilical to this thing, so this thing goes up and down and is much less stable in the water. Weather conditions in the search area Sunday are fair. Malini Wilkes, CCTV.